So when it comes to Venus, looking at and assessing Venus in a birth chart, <clears throat> in the last video I talked about the one of the ways that Venus can actually be hurt is by her enemy, the moon. And the other enemy of Venus is actually the sun. And so whenever Venus is in the sign of Leo, it's with, in the sign of an enemy. And so it's not doing well. When a planet is in the sign of an enemy, it's said to be star or in the Trishita Vashta. And so anytime Venus is in the sign of Leo, just like in last video I was saying when Venus is in Cancer, it gets starved by the moon. When it's another sign of an enemy, Leo, the sign of the sun, it's starved by the sun. And then also Venus can be starved when it's conjunct Saturn, but that would be a topic for another video. So these are three of the main ways that Venus can be starved or not feel fulfilled. What does that mean? Well, that means that what is Venus? Venus is a planet of finding fulfillment in your life, finding fulfillment in your chosen path, <clears throat> making decisions that bring you more fulfillment. You know, Venus is like everything that makes your path like easier to walk in your life, which is why Venus rules good clothing. You know, it's good to have good clothing. Um, why it rules vehicles, why it rules like a wife. Um, having a good wife can make the rest of one's life more bearable. You know what I mean? Um, so there's these, these are all things that Venus rules. So really, if you just know that, if you just really know your planets and their fundamentals very well, then it becomes completely clear why Venus and Sun don't go well together. They're completely different energies. The Sun is about your inner vision and your inner purpose and like attaining that, that destiny at any cost externally, you know? And so the Sun is willing to sacrifice anything. The sun is like Shiva. Um, the Sun has a quality of, of just being willing to sacrifice when necessary. Venus Venus isn't really like trying to make sacrifices. Venus is trying to be more creating win-win situations for both parties. Venus rules like parliament, ministers. Venus wants to, you know, have a harmonious uh, end result. And Venus is about the external kind of situation, you know, and the getting the comforts and the, the nice things that make, th make things, life, uh, things in life more fulfilling externally and like I was saying, can help you bear the burdens of, of life. So just think about that. So basically when you get Venus in the sign of the sun in Leo, one's sense of desires, like one's sense of just enjoying life is just getting burned up by this need to be this great alpha or this great being, this great solar person, you know what I mean? Or to be a great being, you're a really great person. So what you see a lot of times is that someone will sacrifice relationships, luxuries, living the good life or things like that in exchange for like this ambition, this big purpose, this big, you know, in exchange for a career or something. So like I know a musician one time that I did readings for that had this really strong and he just always like kind of put his music and his his music and, and like his kind of ambitions above ever being in relationships and that was a big part of why he wasn't fulfilled. Um, you know, uh, I know another person has this who's like very involved in um, like so much activist work and so much like uh, uh, like really good things that are like you know like supporting minorities working at like for nonprofits and all this activist stuff but because of all these other issues in her chart and because of the star Venus this person like just you can see that they're just like constantly always like kind of like unwilling to just enjoy life but like making everything in their life like about their their ambition and their career and their their what they think is important so they like always bring conversations back to like their important issues that they think are super everyone needs to be paying attention to but it actually like kind of just makes everyone less happy because like everyone's already having a great time and feeling very fulfilled and she this person will just like sacrifice that in exchange like no everyone needs to know about this important thing that's happening and um it's just kind of a funny way to <clears throat> to look at it because in some ways she can almost do more pro make be more progressive with social work if she just uh, enjoyed the socializing with these people and made them all feel loved and, and equal and things like that. Um, <clears throat> another uh, thing you'll see is just really like this like kind of like my way or the highway attitude with relationships. They'll be very like 
it's got to be this, this, or that, or else you're gone. You're done. You know what I mean? You're gone. And they'll just cut people out of their life and they'll make sacrifices um, of people. And depending on the rest of the chart, this can be good or bad is what I'm saying. So like with that other person, um, she can kind of like make things really political when they don't need to be and just be kind of like, she actually, like her political views and stuff would be much more, uh, people would be much more receptive to it if she had more tact and more diplomacy, but she just like shoves it in your face kind of thing. So it actually like, even if I agree with her principles, I get really annoyed by it and don't want to like hear it from her. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, so that's one angle you can see, or you can see it on another side where, um, like I was saying, like yogis can have this and it, like it, it can be good for a yogi because it can make one sacrifice their like worldly desires in exchange of a solar path. So if the sun is really the planet that's auspicious and forming the Raja yogas and things, then this is really good for them. Um, because it, the sun, if the sun's strong and doing good things and Venus is subdued because Venus is one of the sun's enemies. So it'll make them go further on their path. But then it can also do the opposite. Like if, if Venus is a really critical planet for you and your spiritual path, having this attitude is like the thing that's interfering with your path. And it's actually what's ruining your ability to wake up. So I'm not saying, so this one placement alone is like, it is a less desirable placement to have but it can still lead to good or bad things. And like I was saying in the last video, you know, Tom Cruise is a super successful person and his Venus and Moon are still have obviously still been doing lots of amazing things, but they still starve his Venus and so he still lacks fulfillment. And you can see that in his life, you know what I mean? And so you can be objectively really good at something or externally good, but then inwardly not happy with it and that's what these avas just show more of our inner subjective states but those bleed into our external state and so there is a lot of overlap um but this these placements these the lajahari avashas i speak of these are not things that i look at to determine like if you could get married when we're looking at venus but this is more how you're going to feel whether you get married or not i hope that makes sense um so yeah like someone will be usually like really willing to sacrifice their diplomacy, their relations, their luxuries, any of those things for some solar ambition basically that they value. Whether that is good or bad, we'll deal with the rest of the chart. <clears throat> now, this happens again when Venus is in Leo, but that only happens like once a year. The other common thing that happens is when Venus is conjunct the sun. Venus can never be opposite the sun in, in the Rashi chart. Astronomically, it's not possible. So when Venus is conjunct the sun, the starvation is also happening. But uh, you might find this not always working, but this works pretty well, but you might not find this always working. And that's because the sun also, um, like sun and Venus are both mutual enemies. So Venus sees the sun as an enemy and gets hurt by the sun, but the sun also gets hurt by Venus. And so when they are together, both is going on. And one of them is usually stronger and will win out. And to figure out how you do, how you know which wins out is more complicated that I would like to teach at some point. Um, but this first we have to go over. So um, when you're when you're reading Avastas, you might say this to like seven out of ten people that have Venus and Leo and be really accurate. But then like some of these other people, you're off with, and that's okay. Or you might be off more than seven or ten times or whatever but because you have to learning this one thing it's like that saying a little bit of learning is a dangerous thing that's a really important saying to know for astrology it's a very important saying um, because if you just learn this one thing and you hope that that answers everything of all, of all the avashas you'll be off but because you have to just remember that there's just all these other avashas going on so when we assess Venus that yeah venus could be in leo and be star but it could be with his friend mercury being delighted it could be also being star by the moon and then still yet being delighted by another friend saturn you know what i mean and then the strengths of these delights and 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 um starvations all factor in and so it it really fills in the mess of human psychology that we are as human beings um the logitati of Ashtas, they're they're really the way you want to figure out how how psychology like how we're feeling about all these different little things and how we have our complexes and stuff 
Um, but then, as you know, if you listen to me, like I've talked, like when I was on KRS's channel, I talked about this, and I've said this for years. But um, then you, when you want to read like objective things, I use the, a whole different system for that. We and you know we could talk about that later. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, I should go. All right, bye now. Take care.